मॉर्निंग आई आई सेल डॉक्टर शर्मा अग्रवाल स्पोर्ट्स फिजियोथेरापिस्ट फ्रॉम इंडिया टुडे आई एम टेकिंग अप ए लेक्चर ऑन टू द सीरियस कॉन्सेप्ट इट सीरियस इज द फादर ऑफ ऑर्थोपेडिक मेडिसिन इज द हाउ ही स्टार्टेड अप हिज कांसेप्ट इन दिस ऑर्थोपेडिक मेडिसिन ही यूज्ड टू सी अप ए लॉट ऑफ पेशेंट एंड ही फाउंड इट आउट व्हेनेवर द पेशेंट कम्स अप द ओनली कंप्लीट ही comes up with the complaint of the pain is there and at that time always the physician or the person used to go uh, go for the x ray and then say okay it's only the soft tissue injury is there and you should take a few medicine and uh, you should go for physiotherapy then he come to know what is the thing is there if there is a soft tissue injury is there so there should be a proper diagnostic part should be there through which we can come to know which part of the soft tissue is involved because if i see up this knee joint is there so a lot of soft tissues are there it is coming up from the first is the skin is there then the fascia is there then the muscles is there ligaments are there nerves arteries bursas etc are there so he says the from where the pain is there so he introduced up the concept that is called of the selective tissue tension testing in which he says that we should find it out the exact structure where the pain is arising up the simple formula he find it out he says that if there should be anything should be there that would provoke up the pain and he says that just provoke the pain and you would find it out which structure is on the complaint is there he started up with the simple thing he says that we should start up with the history taking because serex says the history taking is quite important because 25% about the patient we can come to know about the history he says that just carefully listen about the history and in this history just take the all the relevant part of the history and discard of the irrelevant part then further moving up he says that you get the idea where could be the your injury could be there then he says that there are the two types of the tissues are there one is the contractile tissue is there and second one is the your non contractile tissues are there he says that what is the contractile and what is the non contractile is there he says that contractile tissue is the tissues which is having the capacity to contract and in this structure comes up our muscles tendons tendoperiosteal region this comes up in the our contractile tissue and in the non contractile tissue he says the rest of the tissues that is the your ligaments your bursa your meniscus all the fascia these are all the your non contractile tissues are there so he started up with the selective tissue testing uh, tension testing so that we can find it out the injury is in the contractile tissue is there or injury is in the non contractile tissue is there so he started up with the thing he says that we should start up the examination with the active movement he says that when you are seeing up the your active movement if i am seeing up the movement in the active movement in the knee joint what you see up he says that he start up seeing up the patient patient is willingness of the patient is he or she is willingness is there to movement no it would be telling the cvt then along with the willingness of the movement you would be seeing up the range of motion then you would find it out is there any pain is there in the range of motion then you would be seeing up the your quality of the range of motion and the your rhythm and the smoothness of the movement is there if there is any difficulty in the contractile tissue would be there it would be disrupting up your active range of motion is there and it is going to give you a good idea where could be the your injury could be there so it is quite important is there you should find it out first is the willingness then the your quality then the range of motion then the pain pain arc could be there and the your how the pattern of the your movement is there is there any substitute muscles are there or the your actual muscles are working this would be giving us the first guideline of the assessment then we would be moving to the your second assessment that is the your passive movement assessment is there 
a lot of physiotherapists used to go for okay banding of the knee band it but they couldn't find it out what they used to see up so what is there in the when we are assessing up the passive movement is there you would be seeing up the three things first is there range of motion is there range of motion is restricted or not then you would be seeing up the your pattern of the your limitation then you would be seeing up the your end feel of the part what is here is here the passive range of motion could be limited in a fixed pattern or in any non fixed pattern what he find it out he says that if there is a fixed pattern of the limitation of the range of motion is there that is called up the your capsular pattern of the limitation is there this capsular pattern is because if there is any injury to the capsule is there there would be inflammation to the capsule would be there it would be leading to a capsulitis and there would be a fixed pattern of limitation would be there in the knee joint if i would be seeing up if there is a capsular joint of limitation is there there would be flexion would be limited okay if there is a besides then any limitation is there that is called up your extra capsular is there in the knee joint if there is a limitation would be there extension would be also limited and there could be the flexion would be also limited that is the extra capsular is there so he says that there is a fixed pattern is there for every joint if it is the your joint shoulder joint is there there would be the fixed pattern capsular pattern of limitation would be there that is there would be the limitation of abduction there would be limitation of the internal rotation would be there there would be limitation of the your external rotation and there would be limitation of the flexion would be there that is called up the your capsular pattern is there so he defines up the there every joint has got a way fixed pattern is there that is the your capsular pattern is you can easily say up it is a capsular injury is there besides there is if there is any pattern is there that is called up the extra capsular as we have taken up in the example of the knee joint there is if there is a limitation of the your flexion is also limited and the extension is also limited it means capsule is not going to be affected so when he find it out what can be there he find it out if there is any meniscal injury is there if any bone chip has come up in the joint then there would be the extra capsular limitation would be there then it is called up the your extra capsular pattern then he find it out then we should check up the your end feel end feel is that there is the when you are give up the after giving all the full passive range of motion you give up extra pressure to the your joint you feel up a feeling that is called up the end feel he says that there could be the normal end feel and the your abnormal end feel are there if you are bending up your arco and it is bending it it is the soft end feel is there and it is a normal is there and when i go for the extension of the elbow i feel a bony approximation is coming up this is the hard end feel is there this is also a normal end feel is there if i take up my shoulder in the full abduction and give up a extra pressure it go for to the your elastic part this is called up the elastic end feel this is also a normal end feel is there but if there is a spasm in the joint is there okay lot of spasm is there and you bend it and you feel a spasm is come up that is called up the spasmodic this is a abnormal end feel is there if you find it out you are bending up me and it is going back that is called up it, it is working as an spring it is called up a springy end feel is there it is also an abnormal end feel is there in the next end feel is the your empty ended end feel is there when you find it there is a lot of pain is there but there is no limitation of the range is coming up this is called up the your empty and feel is there so you could find it out which structure is going to be hamper up along with this you see up the crepitus is there is happening up and or not along then the third step is going to be your rested isometric contraction rested isometric contraction what is there in the mid range of motion you would be going for the contracting of the muscle you there would be the isometric contraction of the muscle would be there i am working up for the biceps i am giving up pressure now the my biceps is working up two things will happen up there would it would be the first thing would be the your contraction and second thing could be the your provocation of the pain so two signs you get up one is the contraction and second you get up the pain so what the findings you find it out if it is the there is good contraction and there is no pain is there means your contractile tissue is 
Good. Then the second what could be there? There could be the good contraction, but there could be the pain could be there. So this why from where this pain is coming up? This pain is coming up from the tendon. Then he says up if there is the injury, possible injury could be in the your tendon could be there. Next, there could be the poor contraction, and along with this poor contraction, there could be the pain could be there. Then he says that there could be the injury into the your muscle could be there. Or from the part where the, the muscle has been originated. Fourth could be there could be the no contraction and no pain could be there. It shows that there is a complete blood muscle rupture is there or there could be the lower motor neuron injury could be the part is there. So seeing of this through part, active movement, passive movement and resisted isometric contraction, you could judge up in the, he started up with the knee, which part of the contractile tissue or which part of the non-contractile tissue is affected. This is a very novel concept is there. I would say of the whole the physiotherapy test and the diagnostic is based on the your CX is there. We should study up a lot on the CX part and I am not a CX certified physiotherapist but from the basics I am studying up from my bachelor's and the master's I am studying up a lot on the CX so I would say up we should study up a lot on the series because he is the father of the orthopedic medicine is there and there are lot of serious techniques are there in the next lecture i would be discussing you about the your serious technique for the soft tissue treatment thank you